What caused the recent Wall Street sell-off? That's a question a lot of us have been grappling with. The financial landscape experienced a significant shakeup, with the S&P 500, NASDAQ Composite, and Dow Jones Industrial Average all seeing sharp declines. The S&P 500 lost 68.14 points, or 1.37%, ending at 4,953.70 points. The NASDAQ Composite didn't fare any better, losing 282.64 points, or 1.79%, and ending the day at 15,659.91. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 522.05 points, or 1.36%, to 38,275.33. The sell-off was primarily driven by the rising heat of inflation. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, was up 3.1% on an annual basis. Economists had initially predicted that the CPI would increase by 0.2% month over month in January, and 2.9% from a year earlier. The actual figures, however, surpassed these expectations, leading to a sense of uncertainty in the market. But amidst this turmoil, there were some surprising developments. Bitcoin, for instance, broke the $50,000 mark and is now closing in on $52,000. This unexpected surge seems to have caught investors off guard, and it's interesting to see how this will play out in the coming days. Another interesting development is the performance of the dollar IBIT. It took in nearly half a billion all by itself yesterday, showing an unusually strong second wind for a new launch. It now stands over $5 billion, placing it in the top 7% of all ETFs buy size in just 23 trading days. In the midst of all this, BlackRock made the largest Bitcoin purchase in a single day, acquiring 10,002 Bitcoins. They now manage over 105,000 Bitcoins in total, which is quite mind-boggling. To sum it up, the Wall Street sell-off has had a significant impact on the financial markets. The situation is still evolving and it's worth keeping an eye on how things unfold. Inflation has been a significant factor in the recent Wall Street sell-off. This phrase has echoed through the financial world, leaving a trail of concern in its wake. But what exactly does it mean? To understand this, we'll first need to take a look at the Consumer Price Index, commonly referred to as the CPI. This is a measure that examines the weighted average of prices of a basket of consumer goods and services, such as transportation, food, and medical care. It's essentially a yardstick for measuring inflation. Now the CPI was up 3.1% on an annual basis. This might seem like a small number but when you're talking about the economy, even a fraction of a percent can have huge implications. This rise in CPI exceeded the expectations of economists, who had anticipated an increase of 2.9% from a year earlier. The surge in inflation, signified by this higher-than-expected CPI increase was a wake-up call for Wall Street. Let's break it down a bit further. When inflation rises, the purchasing power of a dollar falls. That means your money doesn't go as far as it used to. Think of it this way. If you could buy a loaf of bread for $1 last year, but this year it costs $1.03, that's inflation at work. In the grand scheme of things, this decrease in purchasing power can lead to decreased economic activity. When people feel the pinch in their wallets, they're less likely to spend. And when people spend less, businesses generate less revenue. This, in turn, can lead to lower stock prices, hence the sell-off we saw on Wall Street. Moreover, the fear of continued inflation can lead investors to believe that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates to combat the rising prices. This can further dampen the attractiveness of stocks, as higher interest rates can reduce the profitability of companies, leading to lower stock prices. So, in essence, the specter of inflation has been a major player in the recent financial turbulence. Inflation continues to be a major concern for investors and the financial markets. As we navigate through these uncertain economic times, it's important to understand the role inflation plays in our financial decisions. While Wall Street was experiencing a sell-off, Bitcoin was breaking new grounds. Now let's shift our attention to the digital frontier. Bitcoin, the pioneering cryptocurrency, was making headlines of its own as it broke through the $50,000 mark and is now teetering close to $52,000. This rise is nothing short of remarkable considering the financial turbulence on Wall Street. But what's driving this surge? A multitude of factors are at play. For one, Bitcoin's decentralized nature makes it immune to the traditional market forces that govern Wall Street. It's not tied to any government or central bank, giving it a level of autonomy that's attractive to many investors. 
especially in times of economic uncertainty. More so, there's a growing acceptance of Bitcoin as a legitimate form of currency. Major corporations are starting to embrace it for transactions. And with every big name that gets on board, Bitcoin's credibility and value increase. Then, there's the role of scarcity. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins in existence, and over 18 million have already been mined. This scarcity creates a sense of urgency among investors, driving up demand and consequently the price. But perhaps the most significant factor is the influx of institutional investors. Investment giants like BlackRock are showing increased interest in Bitcoin, making substantial purchases that are injecting billions into the Bitcoin market. Such moves not only boost Bitcoin's value, but also signal a vote of confidence in the cryptocurrency, encouraging others to follow suit. We're also seeing a strong performance from Bitcoin exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. For instance, take dollar iBit, a newcomer that's already among the top 7% of all ETFs in terms of size, thanks to an impressive second wind. In summary, while Wall Street reels from the impacts of hot inflation, Bitcoin is thriving. Its inherent characteristics coupled with growing acceptance, scarcity, and institutional interest are fueling its rise. And so, as Wall Street struggles, Bitcoin continues to show strong growth. This could be a sign of a shifting financial landscape where digital currencies play a more central role. Only time will tell. Exchange-traded funds or ETFs have also been impacted by the recent financial events. The most notable example is the iBit ETF, a newcomer that's taken the market by storm. In the midst of the Wall Street sell-off, iBit demonstrated a remarkable ability to pull in investments raking in nearly half a billion dollars all on its own. This influx of investment is not typical for a new launch, and indicates a strong second win for IBIT. It's like a long-distance runner suddenly picking up the pace halfway through the race. This surge of investment has quickly catapulted IBIT into the upper echelons of ETFs. In just 23 trading days, it's gone from a fresh face on the market, to standing tall in the top 7% of all ETFs buy size. This rapid rise is indicative of the growing interest and confidence in its potential. What does this mean for the ETF market as a whole? Well, it's a sign of resilience. It's a testament to the fact that in a volatile financial landscape, ETFs can still thrive. They can serve as a haven for investments, offering diversification and risk management in the face of financial turbulence. The success of iBit also speaks to the evolving nature of investment strategies, in a world where digital currencies are increasingly recognized and utilized, an ETF like iBit, which is deeply intertwined with Bitcoin, can prove to be a game changer. But what's important to remember is that the success of any ETF, including iBit, depends on a multitude of factors. Market conditions, investor sentiment, and the overall economic environment all play a role. In conclusion, despite the Wall Street sell-off, ETFs like IBT have managed to not only withstand the storm but also to flourish. They've shown that with the right strategy and a responsive approach, it's possible to navigate the choppy waters of the financial market and come out on top. ETFs continue to show resilience in the face of the Wall Street sell-off. BlackRock, one of the world's largest investment management companies, has also played a significant role in recent financial events. This mammoth firm made an enormous splash in the crypto pool, by making the largest Bitcoin purchase in a single day. We're talking about a whopping 10,002 Bitcoins. What's even more astounding is the sheer volume of Bitcoins they are now managing. It's over 105,000 Bitcoins. Just let that sink in for a moment. This is a clear indication of BlackRock's belief in the potential of this digital currency. A belief that has rippling effects across the financial markets. When such a significant player makes such a bold move, it sends a powerful message it showcases the growing acceptance of cryptocurrencies and their increasing role in the world's financial ecosystem. BlackRock's significant Bitcoin holdings highlight the growing importance of cryptocurrencies in the financial markets. In conclusion, the recent Wall Street sell-off has had a significant impact on the financial markets. The S&P 500 Nasdaq Composite and the Dow Jones Industrial Average all fell sharply, reflecting this turbulence. Simultaneously, inflation has been heating up, with the consumer price index rising more than expected. But in this whirlwind of financial tumult, Bitcoin has emerged as a beacon, breaking past 50,000 and nearing 52,000. The growth of Bitcoin has had a remarkable effect on exchange-traded funds or ETFs. A prime example is the IBT, 
which in just 23 trading days has positioned itself in the top 7% of all ETFs by size. And we can't neglect the role of BlackRock. Their record-breaking Bitcoin purchases have only added fuel to the fire, managing over 105,000 BTC in total. These events highlight the volatility and unpredictability of the financial markets and the growing importance of alternative investments such as Bitcoin.